Hey, we're back. Oh my That's goodness. How's it going, everybody? Look what happened. Oh my goodness. That's right. Something has definitely happened. David, what's going on there with you? I don't oh, know. Wait, wait, wait. I went to the bathroom and I came back and this is what I found. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's definitely not happy now. I guess she was, we, we didn't do her justice in our talk about yokai, but she's, she's going to haunt me for the rest of the day now, I think. So the so yokai it wasn't long enough. Yes, it wasn't <laughs> long enough. That's exactly what it was. She wanted more. <laughs> All right, so uh, this actually, we're, we've got a surprise segment happening now, and that is where we're going to kick things over to Leslie, where he's going to do, uh, he, we have show and tell earlier in the show, now he's just going to show off. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much, because I couldn't really show this guy during my show and tell for obvious reasons. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, he is finally here. The Spiral Studios Ultimate Masterline Statue of King Ghidra 2019. Yeah, he's a big one. Hold on one second. I got my tape measure here. Let's 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 see. <laughs> Hold on. His tallest head is two feet tall, 24 inches high. Wow. The wings gigantic. His wings is like 32 inches high. Wow. And it's almost it's almost almost three feet. And from tip to tip, we're looking at maybe forty shoot. Forty? No. No, a hundred and twenty inches. Wow. Careful, buddy. Inches. You're gonna if you if you move too far, you're gonna pull your tablet. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. making sure. I appreciate it. Uh oh, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. I so take it back. I'm so sorry. His tallest head is, mm, I read it wrong, is at 60 centimeters tall. Wow. Wow. And, and his, uh, and his wings is at maybe, oh, it's at 80 centimeters tall. Insane. By far, this is the biggest collectible to make his appearance here on Collect All Monsters. And uh, we have been asking for this. We've been waiting for it. And it's finally here. Oh, yeah. For those <laughs> for pre order, F gonna be able to see a ride. Um, so I know, I know my signal's kind of trashy up here, but you know what? He's probably the one that's causing all the problems because you know he mm -hmm. did control weather sure. elements, right. blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. but this is this is great. This is an awesome yes. King Geedra, in my opinion, the best King Geedra collectible out there at the moment. Um, and don't want to give this guy too much attention right now, even though he kind of deserves it. But I will be doing a review on this guy real soon. But before we went live, Spiral Studios actually announced that they're going to be doing a 35 centimeter vinyl line of the monsters from the MonsterVerse. Wow. And who is up first? I'm going to try and showcase it here. Titanus oh, Monster. You, <laughs> you got nice. me. Thank you. Thank you. The larval form of Mothra, and from what I understand, from what I understand, the standard is going to have her in a passive version, and the the the, the, the deluxe version, excuse me, is going to be like in a fierce version where Mothra was pretty much a badass and just attacking people somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, so this is great. So thirty-five centimeter vinyl figures of Mothra of Rodan. Wow. You know, you know they're gonna do a Godzilla. I don't know if they if they'll do a King Ghidra since we got the uh, gigantic version here. But I mm -hmm. think a thirty five centimeter version of Monster would pair well with this mm -hmm. version of, of of King Ghidra, and mm -hmm. especially if they do a thirty five centimeter Rodan twenty nineteen. He would look so perfect alongside King mm -hmm. Ghidra. And now I feel bad because I got the S plus Rodan coming, and now I don't want that anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. But this is this is this is great. This is great. So I want to show some love to King Ghidra. Thank you again to Spiral Studios. Thank you again to Ash Siri, AJ Russo from Kaiju Live. Y'all have done a phenomenal job with every single thing about this King Ghidra, including crappy Kevin up here. So, <laughs> so that is it. That is it. Phenomenal. That's it. Right. Actually, look, look at this. This is the thirty-five centimeter. Yeah. Hedra, and he looks like a freaking deaf or real compared to King Geetra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's great. 
Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you, Kyle, That's for crazy. allowing me to show this guy off. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, I got to ask you, dude, just because uh, I watched that. I didn't watch your unboxing live, but I watched it after the fact. And I was like, whoa, what are you going to do with the box, the ginormous right. box that came with that Ghidra figure? Uh, and I wish I had an answer for that question, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I really don't, I really haven't figured out where I'm going to put this guy just yet, because this is going to be, this is where I do most of my reviews anyway. And I'm have to, I'm gonna have to keep it here. Now this thing weighs 50 pounds, legit and 50 pounds, big and delicate that this figure is, you know, you have to handle it with, you know, in a way kind of with kitty gloves, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm not going to be moving this guy too much often, too often. <laughs> really shouldn't, quite frankly. Just find a place to put yeah. it and set it there, kind of like a couch or a refrigerator. So <laughs> I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it yet. I, I am going to keep the box, obviously, because the box is awesome. You know, so I may put him on top of that. Super awesome. Yes, I may put him on top of that. But I haven't figured it out yet. As soon as I do the review, then I'll decide where I'm going to put him. But let me just apologize, everybody who watched that video. I, I, I'm sure y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all did. But if I gave y'all cardiac arrest because of the whole wing thing, I am so sorry. Because I had so many people come up to me, at least messing me, saying, like, dude, I was I was about to have a heart attack when you cracked the not crack, but when the when the uh, thing started like to shift a little bit and you heard that thing fall down. And it wasn't King Gidry, it's another figure of mine. But again, if y'all almost went to the hospital because of me, I am so sorry. I really am. Um, but he's worth it. He's worth it. He was worth the money. Um, and for those who may not be satisfied with this figure, and honestly, I don't see how you cannot be satisfied with this figure. For what I understand, this is a one and done thing. They're not planning on reissuing this guy, at least anytime soon. So if you got one, one of the lucky ones to get one, you know, you're good. But if somehow, some way you don't like it, I'm sure there'll be, there will be an army of people with money ready to buy this thing off of you. Mm -hmm. As I said before, this is, in my opinion, the best King Geecher figure ever. In my opinion, especially from the monster verse, you know, and the fact that this was the first release from Spyro Studios, a lot was riding on this release. A lot was anticipating about this release. And then, as I said in my unboxing video, you know, you never have a second chance to make a good first impression. And in my opinion, mm -hmm. they did an outstanding impression. So from now on, my three go to companies when it comes to collectibles is X Plus, Roto Kaiju, and Spyro Studios. And once again, be on the lookout for that new line from the monster verse. The 35 centimeter um, Titans of Monsterverse, I think that's what it's called right now. So I'm looking forward to see what else Fire Studios may be cooking. But as you can see here, they are swinging for the fences and they've done a great job with this first release of the gigantic size Spyro Studios 2019 King Ghidra. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right on, man. Thank you. Uh, Greg just asked if it's, is it vinyl or is it resin? It's resin. That's why it weighs 50 pounds. And that's why I have this. Uh, this um this stand here because it's meant to stabilize King Ghidra. Because once again, everything about this figure is big, obviously, and it's heavy. So you really need this. Now he can stand without it, but as much money as I pay for this, I don't want to come home one day and find him in a thousand pieces. No, no, you know what I'm no. Oh, so I don't want to do that. So this is the <laughs> fur fur this is the firmly stabilized figure. And I've had this figure going on three, four days, and I haven't really touched it at all. And as you can see here, it's not moved. So as long as you keep it in a stable place where nobody's going to be touching it or bumping into it, as you can see here, it's, it's, it's doing a great job standing on its own, even with the, uh, even with the uh, knee stand. Mm -hmm. So y'all going to love it. Those who did pre-order it, y'all going to love it. That's all I got to say about uh, that. Almost Ian 1101 asks, how are the heads? The heads are great, too, because everything is pretty much magnetized. Kind of like the KLC kit that I showcased earlier. Um, every head is... Um, is held on by magnets and it's seamless. You could hardly really tell the seams on this thing. I know that's kind of a big mm -hmm. thing with some collectors. It's not really for me, but as you can see here, everything fit perfectly. Perfectly, everything fit into slots perfectly. There's no really seams or anything like that. The only thing I will suggest is like when you get this figure, please be mindful of the wings because of the uh, vinyl wing tips. Um, now, if they do happen to come off, you could just insert them back in. Apply a little super glue and insert them back in. But as you take out every individual piece, because it comes in like, I think, six or seven pieces, two wings, the three heads, the main body, the tails, and the uh, and the stand here. But be, be very careful when you handle the wings, especially with the wing tips. 
And like I said, if they do happen to come off, it's not going to be like a, a catastrophic breakage. You just put it back into the holes, into the slot. Like I said, apply mm -hmm. a little super glue first to put it in the slot, and you'll be good to go. But once again, this is perfect. They have done a phenomenal job, an outstanding yeah. job. This was my most figure, my most anticipated figure release of this year, 2021. More than the gigantic 54, more than the favorite sculptor's line voted 56. This was this was the guy. This was it. And I can honestly say they have really exceeded all my expectations and made me more of a fan of Spiral Studios. So awesome. right on. Very cool, man. Thank you very, very much. Very, very cool. All right.